Okay, so you're going to click on the Shift A and make sure you have only the front selected of the screen. Go to Browse and put in Monitor and go to do dev slash dev underscore TV Monitor 1A. There are a few other types of um, textures that you can do for the monitors. So you can look those up later. Um, press Fit. Make sure you fit it so that way it's perfectly stretched out. Go up to your camera, double click on it, change the name to Cam1, press Apply, now go down to the screen that you created, press Control T, tying it to Entity, and go down to Funk Monitor. Um, the only thing you really need to change is camera name on the very bottom and change it to Cam1, press Apply. So all this is doing is it's saying you have this camera up here and you have this monitor down here. and this monitor is referencing this camera. So now what we'll see is this view up here looking down there. Okay, and also what's kind of nice is you can have um, buttons next to it and you can turn it off and on just like how you turned the um, the funk brush off and on. Okay, now we're going to do two more things. One's a funk rotating. What you can do is you can just create a random shape. What I'm going to do is create like a cross by using the, br the um, using the box tool, press enter, probably change it to a, or let's, yeah, create a box, press enter, so as you see it looks like a cross, I'm going to click with the selection tool on both, with holding down control, I'm going to change the um, texture with shift A to, I don't know, let's change it to a brick, some sort of cool brick, click apply, okay, now you're going to have both of them selected with the control and hit control T and go to funk rotating. Click apply and this is kind of a cool one if you see like the uh, boxes rotating in the air and people's maps this is the same thing. What you can do is you can add blocking damage so if you wanted if somebody walked in the way of it you can add whatever let's say 15 damage and it would hurt them. Um, you can add sound to it, the rotating sound wave, you can search for the sounds. I like to just have the max rotating speed changed, so you can change that somewhere between, like 50 is like kind of a medi medium speed, 100 is like a fast speed, so we'll change it to like 45 is the favorite one I use. Click apply, and go to flags, this is important, go flags, the flags tab, and put start on, because if you didn't do that, then it would not start. Um, you can have it rotate with the x-axis, y-axis, and you can have it go in the reverse direction. Those are stuff that are pretty self-explanatory. So click apply. Now when we start, you're going to see this guy rotating around in a circle. Okay. Lastly, we're going to do... I know I used the funk move linear before, but I'm going to do it kind of differently. So just create a random block in, in the air. Um, kind of like that. I'm going to move it up a little bit. We're going to hit enter to create it. And let's give it a different texture just to make it pretty. I'll give it this one. So what we're going to do is click on it and click Control T and change it to Funk Move Linear. Click Apply and then give it um, a move distance of let's say see I'm I'm going to have it move from left to right. So since it has a a width of 96, we're going to make it move let's say. 150. Um, have the speed be a little bit lower to 50. And then this is important, the move direction. The move direction ref is going to move in the direction according to the bird's eye view. So right now it's moving to the right. That's not right because we don't want it to move into the wall. We're going to move it downwards, which is actually in our bird's eye view moving this way. So 270. You can move it however you want. You can move it up and down, stuff like that. Um, go to apply, click outputs, and say, actually no, let's give it a name. So name, we're going to call it move. Press apply, go to outputs, and say add on fully closed move. open. So my output named on fully closed, target entity is named move, 
via this input open. Add again, and this time on fully on fully opened target entity's name move close and click apply. All this is saying is that this move linear is going to open and when it's fully open it's going to close and when it's fully closed it's going to open so it's just going to go back and forth in this this movement back and forth and back and forth. Okay so lastly you're going to do one last thing you're going to click the entity tool and you're going to go over to um, auto or logic auto logic auto and you're going to click you can have this anywhere it's not going to show up on the map so I'm just going to put it down here double click on it go to outputs and s add on map spawn move open and press apply and then close all this is saying is that you have this thing moving left and right but you need something to start it moving start it opening because without it it's not going to move at all so have this logic auto and then it will open okay i'm going to compile now okay so now our map is up and as you see we've got our arch and our buttons and our funk illusion or our funk brush so when we go over here let me pr press the e button you'll see that the funk brush disappeared. Now we're going to click our on button, which is this one, and it's going to reappear. So as you see, the I, I made a mistake, the buttons are moving to the right. What you can do to change that is you can go to tabs and say don't move, or you can change the direction of the buttons. So just like with our um, funk move linear, you can change it according to the bird's eye view. Now with this one, we're going to walk through it. As you see, it disappears. When we walk off, appears. Walk on, disappears, walk off, appears. Okay. Now we have our Funk Illusionary. As you see, you can just walk right through it. Okay, so as you see, the monitor is showing the view that the camera is shooting, which would be over there. It's showing like the, the two walls. So that's kind of cool. And they have this little filter. You can also change the texture that I showed you to different ones. I believe there's a list online and it adds like things black and white, sepia tone and stuff like that. So as you see this thing is rotating or funk rotating, pretty basic. Um, if you want, you can do it faster speed and you can make it hurt when you actually touch it. And yeah, okay. So as you see this is moving back and forth just like we tried. This is pretty um, important if you want to do like elevators that move by themselves or if you want some sort of platform that's moving back and forth. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for watching.